The polynomial function p is an odd function. All right, we'll talk about what that means in a second. If p of 3 equals negative 4 is a relative maximum of p, which of the following statements about p of negative 3 must be true? Let, let's first talk about even and odd uh, functions. An even function, I know we're not dealing with an even function, but an even function treats the y-axis as a mirror. So for example, if I were to draw something like this on the left side, it's got to be a mirror image of that on the right. I am not an artist. Leave me alone. Uh, something that is an odd function is basically like a spun shape. Okay, it's symmetry. Uh, basically, I don't want to say it's, it's symmetric. It's symmetric around the origin is probably the best way to say it. So if it's odd, right, and I have something like this going on, that happens. And I think that's probably the best picture I'll draw. So this is what I have going on here. Again, if, maybe the best way to explain this is if I were to spin this 180, uh, I get the same exact image. If I were to flip that over sideways, I'd get the same exact image. That's the difference between even and odd. What I have is an odd shape. So what's happening here, what's happening here is at 3, I get negative 4. At 3, I get negative 4 a point right there, and this is going to be a relative maximum. So I'm at the top of a hill here. So if I were to take this and spin this around, flip it around, that would be negative 3, that would be positive 4, and then I would get some kind of shape at the bottom here. So what I could say is, I don't know what the rest of this shape looks like. I could just go like that for all I care, and it'll be just fine. Okay, but what I could say here is if I have P of negative 4, if P of 3, rather, equals negative 4, and if that is a relative maximum, then P of negative 3 equals positive 4 is a relative minimum. And that gets me C. Okay? So kind of a weird problem, but, you know, we did it. I believed in us.